Hello everyone, I'm Chaotic. Welcome back to episode number 8 of Meatball Craft Dimensional Ascension. Appreciate all the support on the series so far, guys. I really, really do. And uh, in today's episode, I'm going to get right into it. We start working on even more magic mod stuff. We do between lands. We do a bunch of mystical agriculture. We kill a ton of ender dragons. It's a blast. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Okay. So we made the altar and stuff, and then instead of actually going through with the talisman, um, we go into the between lands, we can use diviner instead, I would assume. That's reading like to me at least. Okay. Spawn of Dark Druid. Keep this guy out. Damn it. God. Let's put him in here. All done. That's a long one. Okay. Yep. That's all four pieces. Alright. Should be able to spawn everyone here. Okay. Got our Swamp Talisman. We're gonna do it over here. We'll turn this section into presumably between land structure. Valonite. All right. So it's got all the basic ores. Wasn't that bad to make either. Some octine. Nice. Okay. So we got cybermite, scabist, valonite, octine, and sulfur. Make the next diviner. This one's the spiritist diviner. Let's do this one right here. Um, did not expect it to spawn behind me. Also, that was quite the large tree. What are you doing, man? Huh? Tree face? Oh, they all have to die. Wow, that works really well, actually. So, we broke the one. And it updated their thing to like, they were the extended version. Did the beat us one over here? Oh my god, that was so loud. Well, I was really making sure that I didn't, uh, didn't miss any of their drops, huh? Just release me. Make our alchemia collar. Like, see, how am I supposed to know it's gonna spawn in a bunch of dark druids on me? Like a ton of them. Okay, a quick recording overview here from Editing oh, Chaotic. Man. So, oh, what man. you get here is you get a bunch of plants and ingredients oh, from the Between Lands. You get a stack what? of each of them in all of these double chests. These ingredients technically have an individual effect that you're supposed to test on geckos to get the specialty potion or whatever that you need. I spend about an hour and a half on this, and I give up, and there's simply a bee that you can use from Dentistry to make the potion without having to do all of this nonsense. So, you could do it the normal way. I'd recommend looking up a guide for it. And if so, good luck. Perfect. The Armandus is done. Now we go to Almond Diviner. This guy. That sounds like a pen. Almond it is. Kill them all. These are spawn snails and stuff, and then Rocksnot pods. Rocksnot pearl. Feed mobs who Rocksnot pod. Ward him, Diviner. There. Spawn behind me, okay. What do we need? So, editing Chaotic here again. While I'm being stupid here, the, I misread how this worked. So this machine needs a certain amount of charge from nearby heaters, humidifiers, and such to do the biome transformations. It does not need that many of the humidifiers and heaters and stuff for the biome transformation. Each individual item, whenever you're looking at recipes, has a certain amount of terraform charge value that it gives. And that you only need one of each. Don't build a million like I did. Three by three is required? Ah, ah, I see. That makes sense. Um, this guy can make sap spit out of slime balls. 
Okay. Got a lot of sludge. Resume clicking this in the center. Okay. Okay, well, we found a usage for the sword again. Um, jump crit the guy that can't move. Okay, that's not that bad. <laughs> we could do more Twilight Forest now if we wanted to. We could try to go through some more Abyssal Craft. Actually, we could also deviate to a Master Infusion Stone. How much do we need? So we need eight Insanium. I think each Dragon drops four. I think our end result ended up being, um, you might as well do 18 Dragons to get the last of the Green Hearts needed. Really, bro? Seriously? I don't have enough now. Now I'm gonna need to go back at some point. That's so dumb. Usually they spawn in. Maybe that's what we. Uh, personal. Nice. The very last dragon. Astro infusion crystal, perfect. Got this into our tier six seed. Okay, this guy's this guy's just gonna chug along now. Just over an insane a minute. You know, I actually wanted Divine Shards too. Follow the Watcher. We can just make this, right? Go in here, we'll take all of his unique drops out. Okay. Also, how much Insanium did we get during that time? Was that 26? Damn. It's enough to make three tier 6 seeds already. So, today the plan is to... What was I doing? Mystical Agriculture, I think, was the plan. So, let's see what the follow-through is on the Insanium. So the Insanium setup that we made yesterday, just a simple 8 plot of uh, tier 6 seeds, gave us 1,386 essence. That is enough Insanium essence for all of the seeds, and it's not even close to being a problem. 44 more seeds? But I think the plan today is to get as many of these as possible, and ones we don't have the stuff for, we're going to try to acquire. 8 industrial grinders has been acquired. Nice, okay, they can wall share. External buffer. And apply it. And that gives us our eight additional things that we wanted. And then our ninth being also, we're just going to get a ton of platinum for this. Third seed. Fire uh, seed. Graphite. Electrotene. Oh, nice. Got the Corallium. Black Quartz. Get the Aquamarine. We're just missing Ardite. I guess we'll make our Night Slime one too. I think that might be enough. Perfect, okay, I did. Domium seed as well. Okay, and that is officially everything I intend on dumping into the generic ender chest tank. Sapphire seeds. Transonite seed. Yeah. Is that in whole places? That, yeah, we can just... Like three. I think it was three hours. Okay, now let's take out the sword and then we go ham. Bop. 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 Alright, you guys don't really do any damage. So then we just make the call stone here because I know it makes like a cube. Jade seed. Doing all eight. Top graphite seed, stronghold, and forgotten spirits. Cool. All right, let's find the night room. I'm mad. All these guys. Get them out of here. Thinkers. Um. Okay. Pretty easy. Your dad. Okay. That was terrifying. 
I forgot he spawned in that many guys. God, he spawned in nonsense. That was the most inconsistent fight I've ever had. Oh, this is the one. Goodbye, Snow Queen. So we're missing a Void Metal Seed. Which means we need Void Metal from Thomcraft, which needs Void Seed research in the first place, so... To open the Thalmanomicon, how do we get there? Ah! <laughs> okay, Caster's Gauntlet. Okay, so it's level 3. Okay, I'm gonna move all this up here. I figure this is my magic floor currently, so... We might as well. What exactly does this do? Does this unlock... To spare myself the mental effort? We'll do Abyssal Craft instead. We need to do Abyssal Craft anyways, and I planned on doing that today as well, so... Oh, well, here's War Cleanser. There it is. Okay, power's done. Cham a table. Okay, tough fight. Then we need a sword of shredded key. Vessel Wasteland requires a full 10k. Doesn't require a sacrifice, though. We'll just put this right here so it'll be right next to our other one. Going in. Alright. I assume this is a different tier of cleanser. <clears throat> Removes 20 permanent warp. The dreading warp cleanser. Nice. Uh, get this. Chicken. Bye, chicken. I need to place a 36 box lower. God damn. And the top. It needs to be at exactly 40. <laughs> you've you've got to be shitting me. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm at 40. Surely. This is the right height, correct? <laughs> I'm actually impressed. I'm so impressed with myself for this. You know what the most fucking impressive part is? Not paying enough attention and using the wrong pickaxe. <laughs> You've got to be shitting me. Oh my god. I'm just, I'm in so much despair. I'm in so much despair. We have to make all the keys again too. Because it uses up your key to make the bottom of that one for the, uh, so we actually can't remake the altar. So we need to go and, oh my, we literally just have to do all of Abyssal Craft again. That's so horrible. <laughs> Why level 40? Okay. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Well, not great. <laughs> I've been getting harassed by this mod, but I'm doing pretty good overall. Okay. Okay. This will give me a portal to the Omethal. Omethal portal. What the heck, man? What? My multi jump didn't work. It instantaneously sends me to the dark realm. How the hell do I get out of the dark realm? <laughs> On our way to zero zero. Gatekeeper. What's up, Chizahar? Hey, can you stop warping my projectile locations, please? You know how inconvenient that is of you? I gained temporary warp. Oh no. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we deviated to that for just a second, you know, a small two-hour adventure. Alright, hey, back to Thomcraft. Infusion crafting. 100 Ignis, 40 Dredia. So we'll make some, we'll make the Dredium seed. 
pretty sure they can all just go on top like that. And these will all be individual. We have a very stable uh, altar situation going on here. As much as it's going to do of beef, as much as it'll do of chicken. Scary Viz Shroom. Just a normal Viz Shroom with 30 Vidium. Okay. I just put a bunch of Dreadium in this guy. And this guy gets a bunch of Ignis. Nice. Really scary Vishroom. Alright, so we're going to take our cleanser. So we're going to eat our Vishroom. That's going to be really loud. I just want to look at my sanity checker. Yeah, that's not good. What does my sanity checker say now? Not that good. Yeah, so it, exa it adds exactly 100. Um, permanent warp. <sighs> okay, so now my Thaumonomicon should have everything. Yeah, nice. I guess I need a Causality Collapser first, actually thinking about it, huh? Causality Collapser. Take that out of my hotbar before I accidentally throw it. It's rifting time, baby! Oh. Yeah. Nice, 15 seeds, perfect. Ah! <laughs> There's a second one! <laughs> uh, we'll go home. That's not trunk loaded. <laughs> He'll be fine, that's like 15,000 blocks away. <laughs> uh, and now, we're gonna draw him in this box, and then we're gonna do all the other seeds. Um, Draconian. Amethyst seed, Monkston seed, Armital seed. Lake Art Dragon Egg seed, Nether Star seed, Damn, Chrome seeds. Give this guy a priority of a thousand now, so now he'll be main priority for everything that's inside of his storage bus partition. And there we go. That's a wrap for the day. <laughs> I'm good. That took forever. But we got all of the Mystical Agriculture seeds except for the um Neutronium Awakened, Draconium, and then Nether Star Cruxes. So all of these guys are on passive now, just amassing resources. Now if we need void metal for something, we have thirty two thousand of it already. You made solid progress, just not on what you thought it would be. Yeah, well, I made good progress on Thomcraft and Abyssalcraft. So it wasn't completely wrong. We got no blood magic, but all of this is good prerequisites for everything else. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. This one was quite a massive undertaking. It was about 20 hours of content that I had to cut down and try to make not absolutely bore you out of your minds because uh, that's what it was doing to me for some of this part. I'll be so honest with you. I'm not a big fan of the magic mods. Abyssal craft can die, preferably. So could Thomcraft. You know, uh, <laughs> no holds barred here for me. But thank you guys so much for the support in the series. I really do appreciate it. I hope I can get every episode out and enjoyable for all of you. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Have an absolutely fantastic day.